my name is Marina and I'm the founder of BK Pilates. I'm here to take you through a quick workout with a togo ball. If you do not have a togo ball, you can use any playground ball or any squishy ball. If you, you could also roll up your towel um, and if you're in a hotel, you could just grab one. I have Nabila here who's going to help me with the full workout and I have Monica here who is going to help us with any modifications we may need. So we're going to make our way down, coming onto your mat and your legs are going to be just as wide as your mat. You're going to take the ball and stick the ball behind your lower back. So slowly start making your way into the ball, rolling yourself back. Coming into capital C, your shoulders are open, your chest is open. Slowly lifting up, reset in your vertebrae. You want to think of your vertebrae maybe as a set of tuna cans, and you try to place one can on top of the other. And when you're lifting up, try to create a little bit more of space between each tuna can. When you make your way into the ball, into your capital C, stay lifted and when, find a position where your back is happy but your abdominals are not and you're going to start lifting your arms up into your peripheral vision, bringing your arm up all the way between your eye and your ear. So somewhere in your peripheral vision, you're going to find that shaking point, so even I'm going to shake now, you can totally see it. So it should be somewhere here and stay within that point, really engage the deeper abdominals, bend your elbows and reach your arms up. It's totally okay to shake, that means your core is working, it's waking up and saying hello to you. And reach your arms up and bring them down, reach your arms up and bring them down and then reach your arms up and leave them behind your head. I'm just going to go for little pulses and if you feel any tension in your neck, push your head a little more into your arms and from here start adding a little bit of rotation working in your obliques. Do not forget to breathe and as you're exhaling empty the tank pushing all the air out with your abdominal wall. So we could add a little bit of a challenge here and if you do have a yoga block at home, you could take your yoga block and then you could place a yoga block and bring your legs into tabletop position and just hold, finding your balance. And you can point the flex your toes here just for fun. And lift your legs up a little higher, pull your knees in. We're just gonna stay here for a few counts, looking at your block. And we're gonna remove the block, send your legs forward, stretch forward, taking a breather. Rolling yourself back up, you're going to push your ball a little further underneath the thoracic spine and slowly start making your way back onto the ball. You may need to adjust it just a little bit. And here, just take a stretch first, opening your shoulders, opening your chest, opening your thoracic spine. And then we're going to work on the midsection of your abdominals. And you're going to bring your hands back, folding one palm over the other, taking an inhale, exhale, taking a slow lift up. So if you want a little bit more of a challenge here, you could extend your right leg to a 45 degree angle. Or you could extend both legs to a 45 degree angle, come into almost a supported teaser position. And if you extend your right leg, you're gonna extend your left leg to even it out. So just be mindful how many times or how many counts or breath you took on one side as opposed to the other. And then you're gonna drop your leg down Bring your right leg or left leg to tabletop position, whichever one you started with. And then we're going to work on rotation and bringing your left elbow to the right knee with the support of your ball. You can use your arm that, to support your leg if you need to or not, depending if you're modifying or not. And continue rotating just a few more times. You're going to send your right leg down Bring your left leg to tabletop position and bring your right elbow to the left knee. Just count your reps or count your breath or if you're doing it to the beat, make sure that you even out your reps. The most important is to stay even and listen to your body. And send your leg out and roll yourself up. We're going to do a few more quick things with your ball here. You're going to grab the ball. 
and you're gonna lie down take a bridge to stick the ball underneath your tailbone leaving the ball underneath your tailbone your palms are down bring your legs to tabletop position one by one hold your legs in a tabletop position so this should be enough to slightly challenge your lumbar pelvic stability but what you want to be focusing and really engaging your deeper abdominals activating your core so from here you're going to slide your right leg out bring it down and pull your right leg back in left leg out bring it down pull it back in think of your femur being released out of your hip socket and then you're grabbing your femur back to pull it back in and if you're ready you could send both legs out and pull both legs in send both legs out and pull both legs in send both legs out both legs in check in with your shoulders check in with your chest make sure that you're rolling your shoulder blades into your mat opening your chest softening your sternum and you're gonna shoot your legs up and go for crisscross scissors here and you could scissor your legs down or scissor your legs up scissor your legs down and scissor your legs up and from here we could go for helicopters or we could helicopter scissor helicopter through a scissor helicopter through a scissor and then scissor back and bring your legs back bring your feet down take the ball out stick the ball between your knees bringing your arms parallel to your body bring your feet a little closer to your glute or your butt cheeks and slowly lift up peeling your spine up you're gonna stay lifted and just to work on your inner thighs give the ball a few squeezes and if you can walk your feet in a little closer and show your ball some love as you're squeezing it now you're gonna squeeze and hold and release squeeze and hold and release squeeze your ball and hold really engaging your gluteus medius pressing your hips up a little bit go for little presses up little thrusts and up and up and up trying to maintain neutral pelvis press up and up and up and slowly make your way down rolling down bring your legs forward take the ball out reach your arms forward roll yourself up taking an inhale stretch your body forward walk your arms over to one side your arms over to the other side bring the soles of your feet together sitting up a little taller take a stretch in your hips and lift your arms up taking an inhale bring your arms back down great job everyone <laughs>